Well, so many Minnesotans head north to enjoy the lakes and forests up there, but nestled in those trees, not far from the water, is something intriguing, if not even mysterious. Fox 9's Karen Scullin takes us deep into the Chippewa National Forest, not far from Grand Rapids, where an experiment is underway to help us all have a healthier future. Tucked away among the trees of the Chippewa National Forest, a curious set of clear pods, and they do raise a lot of questions. The answer, though, is simple. It's an experiment that scientists say is giving us a glimpse into what could be our future. This is the largest climate change experiment that's happening on the planet, and it's happening in our Minnesota backyard. The Marcel Experimental Forest has been looking at best ways to manage our nation's ecosystem since 1960. But around 2015, the Department of Energy funded the Spruce Project. Ten pods, 40 feet wide and 32 feet tall, were built around untouched forest. Tops open with minimal impact from the enclosure. They're spread over seven acres of a 20-acre peatland. This enclosure is about 12 to 14 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than it is outside. The Spruce Project takes a look at how climate change will impact peat bogs a type of spongy wetland composed of living and dying plant life. They're important because they hold a good amount of carbon, preventing it from entering the atmosphere as a harmful greenhouse gas. If the carbon isn't stored here as peat and organic matter, that carbon is going to spend time in the atmosphere as carbon dioxide or methane. Some pods are heated, some aren't. This one is consistent with outside air. But this pot is heated year-round, about 10 degrees warmer, to give us a peek into what some say is our future climate. Yeah, it's a completely different picture in here. Inside each are a number of tools that reach scientists all over the world who analyze the data. These are methane sampling uh, tubes. But you don't need data to see the difference. In the pod not heated, it's green. The leather leaf, Labrador tea, and the sphagnum moss are fairly healthy. But in the heated pod, there's a real struggle for survival. The same plant life is brown and dry. The moss is almost non-existent. So far, blueberry is about all that does well in that warmer climate. So it really teaches us where these ecosystems have tipping points in which they can no longer function in the same way they have for thousands of years. Now that could all be the future, but right now we're all enjoying spring. The trees are budding and plant life is returning, but experimental forests and projects like spruce help us see beyond the new life to recognize what's missing or dying off. So as the world evolves, so can we. What we can do to help better inform us about the land resources, about water resources, air resources, and how we can better manage them for all the public needs, whether that's recreation, forest products, on and on and on. The Spruce Project is a 10-year experiment. Around the year 2025, it will be decommissioned. The pods will come down. The data collectors will be gone. As for what's next for the Marcel Experimental Forest, well, for now, that's up in the air. In the Chippewa National Forest, Karen Scullin, Fox 9. Well, tomorrow night we go to another area of the Chippewa National Forest where scientists are working on an experiment deep in the red pines. It's the Cutfoot Experimental Forest. That's tomorrow night at 9.